Hey everyone, I'm going home on vacation soon to see some family, so I thought it would be really fun to film a what's in my carry-on video. Now, I used to have a job where I traveled almost every single weekend during um, about seven to nine months of the year, so I feel like I've become a pretty excellent packer, very efficient, and I'm only gonna be gone for like three or four days, but I'm gonna try to completely pack in basically my carry-on luggage, my two carry-on items that I'm allowed. I've seen a lot of these videos before and I like to get tips from what other people do while they're traveling, how to pack, that kind of thing. So I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys a lot of the tips that I have learned over the many, many, many times I've traveled. So I am gonna be going on an airplane. So I've also thought of, you know, limiting my liquids and all that kind of thing. So if you're interested, go ahead and keep watching and I'll show you what's in my carry-on. I'm actually going to be carrying on only. So if you notice these two bags, I'm gonna be carrying them both on. They look a little big from this angle, but they both fit the size requirements of the aircraft. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. Starting with this Vera Bradley bag, this is actually the bag that I'm gonna have mainly my important things in. So I'm gonna stick this underneath the seat. It does fit underneath the seat. Um, on any standard plane and you can put something in this front pocket but I actually I'm not going to keep anything because if you look here it'll show that it's a checkpoint friendly laptop only in this um, area and no other items. I actually have my laptop just right in here so if you see I have my laptop in here and I'll just scan this whole thing right through just like this on the belt going in through security and it works out pretty well. Then if you come over here, I have a little purse. This is the purse I like to travel with. It's really small so you can just fit some stuff. There's nothing in here right now because what I do to kind of maximize my space is I put stuff in the second compartment here. Moving on to the next compartment, you'll see again, there's more room for storage. I love this bag because it just has tons and tons of storage. So if you look in here, I just have, you know, a lip balm. I have my phone. I have just some deodorant. This one has seen better days for sure. It's about on its way out. I just have my wallet that has just, you know, my ID and everything in it. And then I always like to have a snack, so I always keep a couple Laura bars in there. Then in this component, I have my charger for my GPS, so I can take this with me while I'm traveling. I also have kind of my um, external hard drive storage for my laptop in here. So I can save things if I make any documents or videos or anything. And then I have my Kindle. I love this case, it's so adorable. And it just pops open like this. And over here on this side, I have my flat iron. I used this this morning. I love this case because, you know, after you use it, you can put it in here and even if it's still hot, you can still travel with it. Then I have my diet journal in here. I just started using this. I'll let you know what I think, but um, when I have a little more time, but it's pretty cool. You can update, you know, all your stuff on there. I'll maybe do a review if I end up liking it. I've just started doing this. I usually log all my food and calories in a online food journal so that's new for me i just have a hat because where i'm going it will be very cold and this is going to have my camera that i'm filming on and a couple other just electronic things for video and then these are my prescription sunglasses i just like to carry them i do wear glasses um, so on the days i wear glasses i bring my prescription sunglasses along and then i also have sunglasses that are not prescription that i'm going to run with these were like the cheapest sunglasses but i think i got them at like forever 21 or something for maybe five dollars i have these and i have a pair of the same kind in orange and they're the best sunglasses to run in i swear it's so crazy 
Then I just have a little bit of Tylenol in case I get a headache. This is a recent purchase for me when I bought this bag over the summer. I also bought this and it's basically a charger holder and you can see all the glory here. There's so many chargers. I have my watch to run in that has GPS so I know how fast I'm running. I have my charger for my laptop, just, you know, a bunch of different chargers and things. Then I always wrap my shoes, my running shoes or any shoes that I bring in my luggage in some plastic bags so it doesn't get dirt all over especially running shoes they get really dirty on the bottom I just have a belt to wear and then the rest of this is all just running stuff shirt pants socks for when I'm running on that day so that's everything that I have in this bag we'll go ahead and go over to the backpack that I also bring so here's the backpack that I bring. It's kind of a backpacking backpack. I brought it with me when I went to Europe and it just has tons of pockets. It's really fun to travel with because you can bring pretty much anything. So over here on this side, I just have a water bottle. It's full right now because I'm drinking it, but normally it would be empty while I'm getting on the plane. If you come over to this side, I have a lot of just kind of helpful things in this pocket. I have tissues, I have band-aids, and then I just have extra bags. I always just find that it's nice to have extra bags while you're traveling, just in case. Then if we come back around to the front, it has this little teeny tiny pocket here. So in this outside pocket, all I have really is mint. Then in this pocket, it's gonna kind of topple out here, I have just a travel umbrella. Then I have just a couple essential things. I have a lot of wipes and then I have, these actually are earplugs for on the plane. And this is just came with the other carry-on item I showed you. I have some dry shampoo. I have just a hairbrush and some pens. And, oh, and I have um, some jewelry here, some jewelry that I'm gonna travel with. I just keep it in this little J. Crew pouch. Then in the final pocket, which I just put this on the ground because it's very large and heavy at this point, I have on the very top here, all of the liquids that I'm gonna take with me. Basically, I just have all my liquids in here, everything that I'm gonna need. Um, I always do sample foundations and things like that so that I can just have small, bottles but yeah and the biofreeze um is for my back because sometimes my back hurts on planes i had a traumatic injury as a child the chiropractor said so i have back problems then this is actually a gift from a neighbor that where i live and she is giving it to my mom i just have my pajamas in here as well filling up some space then I actually have, this is just more kind of running stuff. I did run in this. It's not sweaty and gross, but just in case I went ahead and put it in here. It's the jacket that I wore, so it didn't really get gross like the t-shirt I wore yesterday, which I am not taking on the plane, but I just have it in there. This has all of my makeup in it, so I try to pack the least amount of makeup as possible. You'll see it's not huge, but um, this is, has all the makeup pretty much, unless it's a liquid, which then it'll be in that other bag I showed you. Then I have, um, this has like socks and just smaller clothing item. Then, ugh, if we look way back in here, you can see the rest of my toiletries bag. So this has just my toothbrush and my shampoo, I use a dry shampoo, some conditioning gloves and socks, a uh, bun ease and just some other, you know, little things. And then bobby pins, um, a headband, some clips. This is actually a very miniature floss. So I like to take that as well. And then the very last thing in here, I'm not gonna pull it out just cause it's very big. It's another pod, like the other thing that I had, this thing right here, only it's much bigger and it has all my clothes in there. So that about wraps it up. I hope that you found some interesting and helpful tips. I know that I spend a lot of time scouring the internet before I go on a big trip or before I try to really condense my luggage. So hopefully you get some ideas from what I do and can maybe apply that to your travels. That about wraps it up for today, but I'll see you guys next time.